Hi, this is Maddie Harper bringing you the July 2021 Multifamily Market Insight Report. Nationally, asking rents increased by an astounding 8.3% year over year in July, another record breaking increase. Since the beginning of the year, rents are up 8%, and overall average rents grew $26 in July to $1,510. To be clear, the increases represent growth in what landlords are asking for unleased apartments. Increases are smaller for tenants that are rolling over existing leases. Jobless claims declined to 400,000 in the week ending July 24th, a decrease of 24,000. The U.S. continues to grapple with a labor shortage and companies are increasing wages and benefits to try to incentivize workers back into the workforce. As schools reopen and additional unemployment benefits wear off in a month, we expect the number of people re-entering the workforce to continue to increase. Occupancy increased to 95.3% in June, up 0.6% from a year ago. Occupancy for lifestyle assets is up even more, 1.1% from a year ago, while renter by necessity occupancy is only up 0.3%. Renters have likely built up excess savings or have seen their wages increase in the past few months and are in search of higher end apartments. The top five metros for asking rent growth remained unchanged in July. Phoenix topped the list again with an astonishing 18.9% year over year asking rent growth. The recovery is no longer limited to just the Southeast and Southwest metros that have fared well during the pandemic. Out of the 140 metros that Yardi Matrix covers, almost all, or 129 out of 140, had positive year-over-year -year growth in July. The news was bleak for gateway markets the last time we reported on them in our Market Insight video, with rents down double digits year-over-year. -year. This month, however, rents are rebounding rapidly. New York hit a low point in March 2021 and has rebounded back since. Rents are only down 0.8% year over year, but with the rapid month over month increases, this could be the last month where we see a negative year over year number in New York. By the end of the year, we are forecasting 8.5% year over year rent growth in the Metro. Occupancy is bouncing back in New York as well, but has a little bit more ground to make up. Overall occupancy in the Metro is still down 3.5% since January, 2020. Rents in San Francisco are picking up rapidly and are only down 0.5% year over year. Initially, the recovery of rents in San Francisco was lagging New York, but now appears to have caught up. Just like New York, the month over month gains in San Francisco have been significant, and this is likely the last month we will see a negative year over year number for the Metro. By the end of the year, we are forecasting 4.8% year over year rent growth in San Francisco. Occupancy in San Francisco is down 2.2% since January, 2020, and has been slow to come back. As companies set their reopening plans and people return to the city, we will likely see this begin to rise over the next few months. In San Jose, rents are down 0.7% year over year. San Jose was among one of the hardest hit metros during the pandemic with rents reaching a low point in February, 2021, declining by 13.3% year over year. Since then, like New York and San Francisco, the recovery in rent growth has been accelerated. By the end of the year, we are forecasting year over year rent growth of 4.4% in San Jose. Occupancy remains down in San Jose as well, down 2.4% since January 2020. And just like New York and San Francisco, as people begin to move back to the metro, we will likely see this begin to rise in the next few months. Please visit us at booth 1001 and join the sessions at Apartmentalize to learn how to improve your NOI beyond rent growth. The Matrix team will be participating in two sessions that you don't want to miss. Thank you for, for taking the time to listen today. If you have any questions about the data covered in this video, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you.